gosh, we had the most luxurious morning. The shower here is so nice. The products are so nice. We had coffee, but this room is so tiny that we literally used the bed to put all of our stuff on because there's literally nowhere else to put it. That being said, I love it. And we're gonna go venture out. We stopped at the cutest little vintage store and they had a bunch of really pretty old jewelry and I really wanted to shop a little more. But one of the goals that I have this trip is to find like the perfect vintage little jewelry. I did find a belt that was so cute. Obviously so tiny as the people are here, but I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna find something special. We're at the cutest cafe. We got the little express breakfast and this croissant came hot out of the oven, like it's too hot barely to even turn. I'm so happy, there's a freaking carousel up here. It's so beautiful. I don't think I've ever had like a hot, hot, hot croissant. Oh my God. I don't even know what to do with this, I'm so happy. Oh, look at everything steaming. Get your little coffee steaming. Callie and I stopped here back in like 2019, I want to say. We never stopped talking about it. So when we walked by, we knew we had to stop it. Oh, we ended up getting those little poppers and Shannon at the register recommended a little French place. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna try this. I should have verified with Callie if this is what we indeed ate years ago that we never stopped talking about, but it looks like it. Look at it. They said it's like um, like an eclair without the cream inside and just with pearl sugar on top. Yeah, it looks so good. Try this. Because it's just so simple. Now, unfortunately, they just disappear. If they sell you a bag of 10, I'm like, oh we my don't God. eat all that. Okay, bye. This one lasts for two seconds. It's like the lightest, like sweetest little delicious donut. Oh my God. Give me another one. Yeah, we're gonna have one more. Yeah, one more. Good thing we got a bag of 10. Don't we need coffee though? Well, you're probably right. What kind of do you need coffee with that? Mm. Okay, on to the next. I'm having so many feelings right now. We're eating a cheese plate. Look what's across from us. Just a little thing that says you and me. And you know what? Do you notice anything different about me? This just happened. So this thoughtful cutie took me to this photo booth and I was gonna vlog like, oh look, we're taking another photo because if you guys saw, we took photos in Florence. And we sit inside the photo booth and he popped the question. So now we're just having a little celebratory glass of wine. I needed time for my tears to dry. <laughs> tears of happiness, obviously. I'm shocked. I said, how did you keep this a secret this whole trip? Wasn't easy. Wasn't easy. There were so many moments he said he wanted to do it. I just can't believe that I'm sharing this here and I'm gonna show you guys a little. We have the actual photo booth strips of when it happened. So this is the first one. You can see it's like my body. And then the shock. <laughs> and then I have him putting it on my finger. And it's so cute. I was trying to film it in the video because I didn't know that we were doing this. <laughs> I was just like, oh, this is cute. I'll film this little us in the photo booth. Sure enough, it was just a video of my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll put it here anyway. Oh, you love me. The <laughs> I just, this is real? It's real. <laughs> this whole trip? Well, yes, yes, sorry, yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> This has been such a special day and I just wanted some time to like absorb it. We like danced on top of Montemarte to music. Now we're having wine. We're gonna have a dinner tonight on the Seine to celebrate. I said, how did you keep this in here this whole time? How'd you keep it a secret? I 
just had a mission. I was a man on a mission. I cried a lot and I look like I look like cry face. I can't believe it. <laughs> I just had to give myself like an hour to absorb it and I'm still not ready. We only told my dad so far, but because he texted me and asked what we were doing and I just had to show him. So it's a fish. It's official. I'm a fiance. Fiance. Oh my god, I wish you could smell this. It's it smells really <laughs> Fun fact, we had mussels and fries on our very first date. Oh my God. So we thought we would order them today too. We're going out for a fancy date night to celebrate that we're engaged. <laughs> I'm so excited. You look so handsome, baby. I'm wearing this Never Fully Dressed dress. You guys probably saw that I tried it on at their pop-up. So I'm really excited. We're doing a little tour of the Seine with the light up Eiffel Tower and we're gonna go out for drinks. The back is like a little strappy moment. J'aime sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz, ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça me fait quelque chose. Oh, pas tellement. La, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps. Prepare to be sick of me. This looks so cred. It's like a wet little berry. Look at my beautiful fiance. Hi! Life is good, and we're just cheersing. We decided to come out for a little drink. And we're happy and we're having fun. Last night was fun and it ended with a few extra drinks. But it's a beautiful day in Paris and we ordered room service. Look, on my ring today. Yay! I'm so happy. I woke up and I thought it was a dream. <laughs> and this looks like a dream if I'm honest. Big news. We're riding the metro. We did it! Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Oh my gosh, we did some really beautiful nighttime photos at the Louvre and I was joking, I'm like we're crazy Louvre All the Louvre jokes I love you. Anyway, I'm gonna stop. But then it started running and everybody ran for cover here and it was just such a magical moment. Now we're gonna go to dinner and it's just been such a magical time here. I'm just like still in shock. Look how sparkly it is. I'm just sorry. Prepare to be sick of all the, all this content. Now we're gonna go have dinner at Giraffe and yeah, just to soak up the last moments of being in love and the special engagement moon. I feel like I fell in love with Paris this trip more than any other trip. We genuinely are like, we want to come spend a lot more time here. Like, we both caught a vibe. It just feels like our kind of place. Yeah. Walkable. Yeah. Fun. Lots of cafes. Look how food. handsome you look. <laughs> We were so sad to leave Paris today. We had such a beautiful night last night with the photo shoot and dinner. And this morning we got up, we checked out, we hung by the pool. There's like actually a beautiful rooftop deck. 
here um we hung out and then we went and got a massage around the corner and then it was time to leave for the train and i had a meltdown and cried i think i'm feeling a little under the weather a lot of big things have come up with life and work while i've been here other than the obvious and i just think there's so much change and we had a day planned in london tomorrow between leaving and whatever but anyway for some reason they were like yeah there's no more availability blah 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 and so we had planned to leave and then the last minute they had an opening for our exact same room it happens to not be booked so we literally just got our stuff and we checked right back in <laughs> to the soho house here i don't know if i even give her give you guys a room tour but lovely jow at the front desk brought us champagne to celebrate our engagement and we just came back to the room we opened up the window and we decided why not just enjoy one more night in paris it's felt silly to me it felt a bit frivolous and unnecessary but if i'm honest real life is always going to be waiting and i kind of just want to soak in and enjoy this time as long as we can and especially since if you guys can hear i'm feeling really under the weather and i think it's just been go 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 and like i said like i hope i have good news to share with you guys because something wild came up out of the blue but i can't i'm not gonna say anything to jinx it now yeah i was up like late working because the time difference and so i just want to use the steam room downstairs and i want to take a little rest we actually went to this bakery around the corner and got like croissants and all this stuff and we discovered that here i should give you a full tour because they know how to do hospitality here they really do because here are, they have a little um little sugar cubes and stuff for the coffee first of all this room is tiny can we do a tiny room tour it's really really pretty though we love everything but there's like no room for our bags so we currently have our bags in the shower and in the bathroom but <laughs> it's worth it it's so incredible if you are coming and you are able to book here i know you either need to know a member or be a member but there's a million products in the shower i love the tiling like the bathroom little moment is always impeccable they give you this all this little like soho house skin stuff and like a little toothpaste like any toiletry anything you could ever need is here in addition to they've really utilized space here in a way that inspires me to like reconfigure my house this little thing has everything you need in it every drawer has something special in it so they do your laundry um if you want them to there's a steamer here and the laundry's free by the way um here they have a freaking dyson air wrap air dryer and a flat iron so you literally could come and not have anything with you this is the same hospitality group that we stayed at that farmhouse um when you if you guys saw that vlog and they have the softest robes that are in here which i'm actually about to strip down and put on because all i want to do is sit in my bed eat croissants in a robe and we're going to make coffee right now so here's the little like drink cart and coffee cart and look at this you pull it out it has perfect little teacups and it has its own little special like nespresso pods so we're gonna make hot coffees and then you can use a little sugar cube i think when we were in italy it really sold us on the idea of putting sugar in our espresso shots so they've got little like brown sugar cubes here this jar has tea but this jar this jar is my favorite because it is the sweet jar, the treat jar. If you guys saw at Soho House, they had that thing of chocolate chip cookies. You are not ready for what's in this. Oh my God, I'm freaking out over how good these are. This is literally my favorite thing I've probably ever eaten. I don't know what it is, we need to ask, but it's what it seems like to me. So it's like a sea salted chunky cookie with big chocolate chumps, but the entire inside is like a layer of like caramely chocolate. I don't understand. It's literally the best thing I've ever had. And I will be eating a fresh one of those right now, actually, with some coffee. Another incredible feature is this towel warmer. It's like the towels are always gonna be hot. Just, wow, it's just wonderful here, okay? Now I'm gonna put on my robe and eat croissant and cookies in bed and be happy. <laughs> vibe we decided to get dressed up i thought i was gonna stay in and go in the steam room but we decided to get dressed up in an outfit i didn't get to wear and just walk around the neighborhood so we are just headed out one last drink in paris oui, oui.